All right, it is Thursday, June 2nd, carnivore diet, day 18. I'm up early. Um, it's now a quarter after five. I'm headed into work because I'm leaving early today because today's my wife's birthday. So I'm gonna take off early today and finish <laughs> getting her birthday presents because I haven't gotten anything for her. I, I, I bought one thing online last night. She'll hopefully be pretty pleased with that, but um, I, I've still got some other stuff to get her. The My wife and I have been together seven years. We've been married five. It'll be six in December. And it, it, it really, I love that we've been together that long. I don't want to live my life with anybody else for the rest of my life. But the longer we're together, the harder it is to get her stuff like Christmas presents, birthday presents, whatever. Um, and because we're both not, you know, poor, we're not rich by any stretch, but we're comfortable financially. You know, if we ever want anything, we usually, you know, if it's within reason, we just usually go ahead and get it. You know, it, it, at least I do, you know, or a lot of times she'll be like, well, that might make a good birthday present. But she'll say that like nine months later and or nine months out from my birthday. And I'm like, you know, what, 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 no, I want it right now. Um, anyway, so the, the, the longer we're together, the harder it is to try to figure out what I want to get her for her birthday. And of course, she always says, oh, I don't want anything. And we're taking our trip to Florida at the end of this month, uh, 23 days from now. And so she says, oh, no, we're taking a trip to Florida. You know, that's. I don't need anything for my birthday. Well, of course, I'm going to get you something for your birthday. So anyway, I'm going into work early today. It's 5.15 this morning, and I'm going into work early because I'm going to leave early after my staff meeting, and I'm going to hopefully try to find something else I can get her for her birthday. I want to be able to at least put, you know, a gift in her hand on her birthday besides the one that I got for her last night. So anyway... Today's my wife's birthday. It's day 18 of the carnivore diet. Um, my stomach feels a little funky this morning. Maybe I just need to poop. I don't know what it is. Um, but I got on the scale this morning and I did, I am down another pound. So in the 18 days that I've been on this, today's the 18th diet. So I guess I've done 17 full days. Um, I'm down three pounds obviously would like to have lost more at this point um but you know it is what it is it seems like and this is really really strange this last saturday so five days ago five days ago five days ago i had two cups of coffee i was out back roading in my jeep i said you know what i'm just gonna have a cup of coffee this is what i do i ride around and drink coffee and 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 have a good time that's how I relax so I had a cup of coffee we went out to maybe it was last Sunday I don't know four or five days ago and then no it was Sunday and then we went to breakfast with my in-laws and I had another cup of coffee and this is decaf both times I didn't drink any any caffeinated coffee and so I've been kind of bloated literally ever since then I've worked out twice. I did my elliptical workout on Tuesday night. Last night was Wednesday night. I did an elliptical workout then. I did two miles on that um, in about 26 minutes. So it was a it was a decent pace, I guess, as far as elliptical machines go. But I've been bloated ever since I had coffee four days ago, and. It's just blowing my mind that I just used to walk around like that all the time. I just used to walk around, you know, just gut protruding. It didn't matter what time of the day it was. It didn't matter, you know, what was, I was bloated because I was drinking coffee. And it literally just blows my mind that I was walking around like all the time like that. Now, I love coffee. The cup that I had Saturday, I'm sorry, Sunday morning at breakfast was not the last one that I'm ever going to drink. But I've been bloated literally ever since then and so I think it might be a little bit better today I'm not sure um, but 
yeah, my coffee intake is going to have to be limited or I'm just going to have to, you know, pull it out on special occasions. Not just some random, you know, running around through the woods. So, anyway, that really bums me out. I'm way past the coffee craving point at this time where I just feel like I've got to have it. I, I'm, I'm way past that. I'm a few weeks past that. Um, it was more of a routine, I think, than it was any kind of habit. You know, that was just my routine. I get to work in the morning, I make a cup of coffee. And then I get done with that cup of coffee, and then I make another cup of coffee. And it wasn't that I just needed it, but it was just it's just what I did, you know. And I've broken myself of that routine. Um, so, you know, coffee isn't a need anymore. I don't need it anymore. Um, but I do enjoy it, and I'll, I'll, I'll have some on occasion from here on out. But I'm just going to have to remember that I've been bloated for four days now because I decided to drink two cups of coffee last Sunday. So these are, you know, things that I'm learning. Last time I did carnival last year, I didn't have any coffee at all. So I didn't realize exactly, you know, I didn't have a cup of coffee in the middle of my dieting or way of eating. I didn't have that cup of coffee in the middle of it. Um, what's up? I didn't have that cup, cup of coffee in the middle of it that made me say, whoa, this is, this is what, this is what coffee's doing to your body, dude. So anyway, uh, I'm down another pound today. It's Thursday, May 31st. My face feels, face feels pretty good. Um, I think by the weekend, hopefully by this weekend, uh, my bloating will be gone from the coffee that I drank. Um, I didn't bring any food with me today. I'm going to have to run out, I guess, and grab something um, at lunchtime today. Or maybe at breakfast. I don't know. Um, it's 20 after 5 right now. I'll probably be getting really hungry by 9 o'clock. So um, I'll probably have to run out and grab something. Still drinking my water. Everything's good. Um, so yeah, happy birthday to my wife. I love you. Um, she's not ever going to see this, but I love you, honey. I hope you have a fantastic day. And all right, I guess that's it. I'm out.